Hello all. Today we are going to be discussing about the uh, business application header of an ISO 222 uh, message. In order to uh, understand the business application header, first we must uh, try to understand the what a uh, business message is uh, in a ISO 222 structure. Uh, an, an ISO 222 message exchange between uh, banks have several layers of data uh, but today we are going to be focusing only on what is known as the business message. When you hear the phrase uh, business message, think of uh, it as uh, the ISO 222 message that you will be working on a day to day basis. So that's the message that you open, edit and then input in the payment engine and so on. Uh, it basically contains two parts, uh, the business uh, application header and the actual ISO 222 message. Uh, the uh, business application header is contained uh, between the uh, tags APPHDR and the actual ISO 222 message is contained uh, within the uh, tags document. So when I mean actual ISO 222 message, I mean the PAX 8, PAX 9, etc. So uh, the definition of what PAX 9 and PAX 8 is, is contained within the uh, document uh, tags. So what is BAH? Uh, BAH uh, is uh, a mandatory component uh, of the business message. In many adaptations of ISO 222, including the CBPR Plus, it helps applications uh, in routing the message without having to look at the uh, business document. So, uh, it, business document has several tags. So, the uh, application, actual application that is routing the payment, need not look at all the tags to uh, identify who is sending the payment and who is who is going to receive the payment. So that's available in the uh, business application data and that's uh, a pretty convenient way for uh, uh, the applications to you know look at the uh, overall message and easily identify who is the sender and who is the receiver. Um, it has its own message set uh, in the ISO 222 world uh, which is called the head 001. Um, uh, and the uh, X indicates the version of the message. CVPR Plus uh, uses version 2 currently. Um, the target 2 uses version 1, uh, but the latest version uh, available in the ISO 222 uh, uh, website is the version 3. So here, here is how the um, uh, business application header will look in a CVPR plus message so here you can see the opening tag uh, app hdr uh, and this indicates that uh, the version 2 of the header is being used the from tag indicates the bank that is sending the uh, uh, payment uh, message and the to tag indicates the bank that is going to receive the payment message business message identifier is a unique identifier for this business message uh, and uh, uh, the business def identifier will contain uh, details of what is the actual uh, uh, ISO 222 message contained between the documents. And the business service tag is used in uh, CVPR but not in uh, target 2. In CBPR, the combination of message definition identifier and business service is used to identify um, what type of a message it is. Uh, and uh, then we have the creation date. So this, these are the basic information that most uh, uh, BAH will contain. Here are the uh, elements of uh, the ISO 222 uh, head 001 version 2 and the ones that are highlighted in uh, grey and are in bold are, are the mandatory ones according to ISO 222. So when there is a HVPS plus adaptation or a CBPR plus adaptation that uh, these values might change. Uh, 
Now let's see how to get the latest BAH from uh, the ISO 222 website. Let's, uh, the first step is to navigate to the ISO 222.org website. Go to the catalog of messages and you click on the business application header. Here, uh, uh, and, and here you can find details about the uh, business application header. Click on the catalog of messages here and then you can download the complete set of the messages including the guide uh, message guide but this would be the version 3 of the message if you want to get the version 1 or version 2 of the uh, uh, business application header then you go to uh, catalog of messages message archive type uh, business application uh, header and then you can download the version 1 and version 2 respectively if you just click on uh, download button here you will uh, be able to download only the XST but, but if you uh, click on the download complete message set then you can download the um, the XST as well as the message guidelines that's it for today. Hope to see you soon with another useful video. Thanks.